everybody, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Michelle. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today's look is done doing all store brand products, so I'm pretty excited about this. We're mainly going to focus on the NYX brand as well as Wet n Wild. So really excited for this. It's very user friendly, so um, I hope you enjoy and thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You can find me on Instagram, which is Makeup with Michigan Michelle. And obviously you can find me right here on YouTube. So I know I've been a little bit behind these last few weeks, but I'm a little bit busy with work and I <gasps> took a vacation day, which is a bit unheard of. So anyways, more to come. Thanks for watching. Let me know any questions and comments. I appreciate any constructive criticism and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. I'm starting off with a really light shadow out of the Matrimony palette. I'm just basically putting this underneath my brow to create a slight highlight. Next, I'm moving on to the Blame It On Midnight by NYX. It's a matte shadow, which I absolutely love. And I'm just making sure to connect the top and the bottom, as you can see. So we're creating an overall blended, seamless look. Switching to a fluffy brush to kind of take that color, move it around a little bit, avoid any harsh lines. Next, we're moving on to the darker shadow, which is also matte, and it's called Dance the Tides. I love the shadow because it creates the perfect amount of depth without becoming too dark for a daytime look. I'm moving to a smaller brush, hence a smaller area. That's one thing I keep in mind, smaller brush, smaller area. I like to kind of move my face around when I'm doing these shots just so you can get an idea of how the shadow looks from different angles. We all have different eye shapes, so some shadows might not look the same on your eye depending on the type of fold you have with the skin, how deep your eye is set, or how protruding it is. It all depends, but that's just how it looks on me, so I wanted to show you. Again, connecting the bottom and top, kind of diffusing that color would be a word that I would use to describe. One other thing is I try to keep it towards the crease, so not going too high up. Moving on, we're using a flash bag from a few years ago, the Wet n Wild Co-Liner. I absolutely love Wet n Wild products, especially when I was younger. So uh, the thing that I like about this pencil is that it's number one, affordable, and it yields the same results, if not better, I think, than the MAC Cole pencils. So I just basically did a line close to my lashes. And you know, I think that in a lot of YouTube videos, it's it appears very easy. Liner takes work. So, you know, if you're struggling with it, watch a lot of videos, do a lot of practicing. Makeup washes off. So, um, but I try to get close to the lash line, go in between the lashes, thicker towards the outside, and then you'll see I'm going to go in with a liquid liner to really add that defined tip or wing at the very outside, just because that's very hard to get with just a pencil alone, just for me anyways. So, there you can see I've got the line pretty much where I want it, and now it's time to go in and really define further. Again, this is a dollar store liquid liner. I think I bought this at the Dollar Tree. Moving on to my favorite part of this look, and this is where we're going to add the shimmer on the very top of our lid. And this really brings a deep set eye forward when adding this lighter color. So it took a little bit of me getting used to it, but I would recommend starting off applying it with the doe foot, uh, doe foot brush or wand, and then using your finger to tap it out, or you can either use a brush to softly blend that line. I learned the mistake the hard way on my other eye, as you can see, I didn't do it as well. So definitely take the time to either get a smaller brush just to blend it, or use a smaller finger. I noticed it was a bit hard to do with uh, acrylic nails. So after that, you can see how this look is really starting to come together. The next part doesn't take much explanation, it's just simply mascara, and I used Wet n Wild Max Volume, which is my new all-time favorite mascara, not only for the price, but for the payout. It's simply awesome. Highly recommend this. So basically just doing the uh, lower lashes first to coat them, and then moving on to the upper lashes and giving them a few coats. I can never just do one. Now it's time for the fun part. I'm moving on to the bronzer. This time I'm using the Wet n Wild Bronzer Stick. So I'm literally just being kind of sloppy with this and applying it from the under, right underneath my cheekbone, on my forehead, a little bit in my temples, and I'm not being too careful at all because I'm going to just blend it all out with a brush. So this brush is a little bit dense, and yeah, it looks a little scary at first, but don't worry, it'll all come together. Now that 
that we've got our contours looking okay, it's time to move on to this new blush that I found that I really love. In fact, I actually like it a little bit better than the Tarte Amazon Clay blush, blush, blush that I was using before. And this one is just a very soft color and it doesn't really go either one way or the other. Like it's not super warm and it's not super cool. So I'm applying this towards the outer apples of my cheek just because my cheekbones are prominent. So when I put it right on the cheekbones, I look like a little bit of a clown. So um, just blending this outwards and uh, going from there. And of course, the long awaited for highlighter. I am again using a Wet n Wild stick. This one is in the uh, Mega Glow highlight. Um, realm of things. So I'm going and applying this first just with the stick and then I'm using a flat soft brush to just blend it out and it's really easy to blend. I like because there is some play time with this so you don't have to move super fast. As you can see I sped up the video a little bit just because I didn't want you guys to be so bored. If you really want to go for some intense highlight though try layering over Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight Powder. It is awesome this really puts out some glow. So as you probably have seen from other reviews, I mean, this stuff, it really works and it, you know, for the money, I'm totally all about it. So here's the final look, everybody. I hope you like it. Please follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, everybody.